All right, so in this video, I am going to be covering a very important and a very rare concept that's related to transformation and rotation in particular. So we're all used to rotating objects 90 degrees, uh, 180, 270, basically multiples of 90 uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. But this time, and this is a question, this is a past paper question. It's a question from October, November 2016, paper one, variant two. So it's fairly uh, recent, I um, mean, five years old, yeah. So not recent, but yeah. Anyway, it's like I said, it's a rare concept. You won't find uh, quest questions like these too often. But again, it's an important concept nevertheless. So in this, you're asked to rotate a triangle 110 degrees. That's what makes it unique. Uh, normally, like I said, we're asked to rotate it multiples of 90 degrees. But in this, you have to rotate it 110 degrees clockwise. So that means that by the time you're done, this triangle is going to end up somewhere over here. But the question is that how exactly do we do that? So uh, let's find out. So it's it's not too difficult, to be honest. So you're going to need a protractor and of course, a compass and a scale, ideally. So the first thing you got to do is you got to join the two points, in fact, all three points with the center. So I'm going to do this one by one. So think of it this way, like I'm joining B with O, right? So here is B and on the same line, we will also have A, which I've joined to the center, which is O. Now here's how this works. So this, these two points are going to get rotated 110 degrees clockwise. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this is my center, right? So from this, I'm going to measure 110 degrees. So when I do that, so 110 has got to be somewhere over here. It's an obtuse angle. So I'm going to make a line. So this tells me that the two points A and B are on this line somewhere. Why? Because this angle is 110 degrees and this is done in a clockwise direction. So now I got to find out where exactly A prime and B prime are. So in order to do that, you can do this with a scale. What you can do is you can measure how far A is and how far B is and mark them on this line respectively. But I'd like to do this with the help of a compass. So with this, I'm not going to exactly need to measure. So I'm going to open my compass from the center till B. I'm going to make an arc here. So this arc is representing the point B. So at this point, if you want to write it down, you can. Whoopsie. Uh, is it still in the frame? Yeah, it is. Okay. So this point is B prime. Now from this point, I'm going to open it up till A. And I'm going to make an arc over here, which basically tells me that this point right here is A prime. Okay, so now the question is, how far is C? Now, when I was explaining this, a student came up with a very interesting idea. So first I'll tell you how I did this and then I'll tell you what the idea my student came up with. So basically what I did was I did it the same way. Uh, I have rotated point A and B. So I joined this, okay? And then I measured 110 degrees, okay? And that's somewhere over here. And then you gotta make a straight line. So somewhere on this line is point C. Now we gotta find out how far it is. So again, we do it, we'll do it the exact same way we did with point um, A and B. So this right here is point C. So C prime. And then you can finally, I'm gonna do this with the pen so that you guys know exactly, I mean, so that you guys can see it clearly. Is it still in the frame? Yeah, it is. Okay. Not used to making videos like these with with the camera over the head. So yeah. So with this sorted out, so now you have the rotated triangle. Okay, I'm, I don't know if it's a 90 degree triangle, so I'm not gonna mark 90 degrees there. I was about to, but I'd rather not. So the idea that my student came up with was this, that let's find out how far C is from A, okay, with the help of a compass. And then you do the exact same thing over here, okay, so that you know that point C is somewhere over here. And because even after you've rotated it, this is sort of an, uh, this in fact, rotation as we know is isometric, which means that the, uh, the size of the triangle remains the same. Okay, so then what you can do is you can measure the distance of B to C with the help of a compass, of course, and then place your compass at B and make an arc. And the two points where they meet is where point C is going to be. So again, that's that's up to you. Uh, this is something that I really like, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. 
But yeah, uh, this is how you guys are gonna rotate uh, any shape. If you can, you can do the same with 90 degrees and 180 degrees also, but that's not something I would recommend because questions related to questions of 90 degrees and 180 degrees usually come on graphs. So you don't necessarily have to use your compass, but whenever it's non 90 degree, 180 or 270, make sure that you guys use this method. So yeah, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.